Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Lozak. His name is Mike Brenner. We are the Odds Couple. This is week seven in college football. It's uh, it's Monday, October 10th. We're dealing with Monday lines here. We're talking with Troy West from AllPlayersWin.com covering uh, some Pac-12 action right now, uh, uh, Arizona and, uh, and, uh, and USC. Mike Brenner, uh, on our opening line show, I gave a pick on this one. I did give Arizona plus yep. seven and a half. It's already moved up a bit. Now it's uh, seven and a half or eight market wide. So obviously uh, some early money's coming in on USC, which I guess doesn't surprise me. Arizona's only been one in five against the spread so far this year. But uh, I don't know. It's a tough place to go in and get a cover as a, as a big favorite. What do you think about this one, Mike? Yeah, and that is true. But I just don't know if USC has the team it takes to cover seven and a half or eight. You yeah. know, I mean, they're starting to gain confidence. Clay Helton's starting to get a feel for this team and what direction they're going. Uh, and you got a coach on the other side going the whole total you yeah. know, different direction. He's on his way out the door. So this one for me, Pete, and I know this morning you talked mm-hmm. about with Arizona. I, I couldn't talk you off that mm-hmm. ledge, but I just got to stay off of it. But, you know, I'm, I'm anxious to hear what Troy has to say because yeah. it's a Pac-12 and he's 17-4 and four in his Pac-12 pick. So with that being said, bust it down for us, Troy. I mean, unless, Pete, you got something you want to no, add to that. No, just, uh, I mean, Arizona took Washington to OT at home, which yeah. is an indication yeah. of how tough it is to play there. Yeah. Troy West, I want official with the Arizona. What do you like here? Yeah, I actually am going opposite with you, Pete. You mm-hmm. got to remember, my last two videos have been Fade Arizona, and we're 2-0 mm-hmm. and on those. Last mm-hmm. week, Utah got them by 13. I think you were a little worried about that one being double digits, but Utah got it done, and they were trailing for much of that game. But yeah, like Arizona said, also outgained Utah. The Arizona outgained them, but they still lost by 13 points. What's that tell you about this football team? They're a disaster right now. Rich Rodriguez cannot seem to know what he wants to do. They can't finish games. They keep losing games that they should be. They're they're in the game the whole way. They lose them at the end. The confidence is completely shot for this Arizona team right now. Yes, it is a tougher place to play. Yes, they're a little bit different at home. But USC's actually got something going right now. They've got talent. This is a team that has a lot of talent right now. And like Mike just said, Clay Helton's finally trying to figure out some pieces. He's trying to save his job because he wants another year with these guys. They've got the quarterback position solidified. Their defense looked really good against Colorado last week. At home, they got a big win against the top 25 team. I think they'll be ready to go in this game. I think it's going to be about a 35-21, 31-21. It'll be close, but I think USC gets this one by double digits. Hey, Troy, with that being said, Pete brought something up that I, that just really kind of hit me hard. You know, this is the same Arizona team, and it wasn't but a couple weeks ago that held down Washington, all right? And, I mean, they held them down, and that went into overtime. Do you think USC is capable of stepping up? Because I don't think USC could hold up, hold a damn towel. Yeah, you I mean, know? it's not really capable. It's are they a fifty-three percent yes, proposition? Yeah, I don't know. I, I forgot about that 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 overtime with Arizona and that, uh, Washington. That was, a, that was very unique circumstance. Arizona had started a quarterback that nobody had known. Dawkins, who's not even the quarterback anymore, he he actually beat Washington with his feet. He's not even the quarterback. Caught him off guard. Washington was looking ahead to Stanford mm-hmm. in that yep. game. Lots of different variables in that game. I think if you played that game 10 times, Washington would beat him by 30 the other nine times. Caught him off guard there. I'm not really looking at that one. The following week, they lose by 21 points to UCLA. The following week, they lose by 13 to Utah. Not a good Arizona team. They're going to face a USC team that's starting to play their best football of the year right now. Okay. Yeah. I can't argue with that. And uh, Yeah. I mean, uh, USC did way out gain Colorado. It was actually a lot uh, a little less close uh, in terms of uh, yards gained yeah. than the yeah. final score would indicate. All right. I might – look, Mike yeah. Brenner, I might come off this. Uh, yeah. We'll see yeah. by Friday. As of right now, though, I'm on Arizona plus 7.5, which puts me squarely uh, at odds with uh, Troy West on this one. Like in uh, USC, right. the line is headed up, but Troy West uh, can still take minus 7.5 uh, with USC. USC. Pistol Pete, that's there. a big balls play. You're going up against a guy that's 17 and 4 in the Pac 12. So yeah. uh, my hat's off to you. He's big going man. up against a guy who was 16 and 8 in college football last week. This so, is true. Uh, that's know. right. And that's my partner, too. Yeah, 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 I'm you pulling know. for you, Pete. <laughs> Sorry, Troy. We'll see. Personal. We'll see. It's also uh, everything I do is totals, though. My sides are, are not that great. So I'd probably lean towards uh, Troy's uh, lean here. Anyway, so. <laughs> there we go. All right. Troy Keep West on. from allplayswin.com. Thanks so much for your insights, as always. Thanks, Troy. Thanks, guys. So we're giving you picks every day, and you're probably making your own as well. Be sure to participate in SBR's weekly Twitter bankroll challenge. Just post your picks on Twitter with at SBR Sports Picks and the hashtag BetSBR before 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every day, Monday through Friday. We'll be betting your picks, and if the bankroll is positive at the end of the week, you could win the profits. Picks must be of events taking place that day and available in at least one of the major sportsbooks shown in our Best Sportsbooks page.